This is Barbara Reese reporting for This Week in East Brunswick. We're here today at the East Brunswick Library to get a closer look at their July art display by Glenford John. Come join us. Yeah, from a small island called Dominica, not to be confused with Dominican Republic. And so Dominica really sits right between two French islands called Guadeloupe and Martinique. And um, the population here is like 71,000, and um, the, the square mile is like about 290 square miles. And so Dominica gained independence in 1978 from Britain, and so we are Caribbean uh, English-speaking language, but we also speak another language called Creole, mm. which is a connection, I have a French connection to it. And so Dominica, um, the Britain, Britain, the UK, and um, of course the French were always having little wars over this island. <laughs> and finally, Britain was a, you know, France yielded to Britain. And so that's why we have this connection, but we have this connection. And there's also what we call the Caribs on the island, which will really migrated from the South America. And they basically the natives on that island. We used to have the, Car the Arawaks too, but they're no longer there. But we have the Caribs, which, oh. as you can see in some of my work, you will see um, what you call the Kalinago people. That's what they call themselves. And so they also named the island Whitey Kubuli, and um, that's how they name it. But um, that's basically what the name is called, Dominica. And now it is known as the Commonwealth of Dominica since we gained independence in 1978. One of the things that we are in about Dominica. It is known for the lush greens, the breathtaking island. When you, you know, uh, it is a rainforest island. There are a lot of mountains, a lot of rivers. In fact, there's record 165 rivers. And so there's a lot of water there and all that. And so it is one of the beautiful paradises. It is one of the last um, island that was left untouched. And now it is being really discovered because a lot of people doesn't even know about this island. And so my painting it, it, it influ is influenced by these um, landscape and the sceneries and all that. And I love nature. In fact, in fact when I migrated to the U.S., I kind of miss it more. And I, the image stays in my head, and I just love nature and culture, and is a, you know. And so that's what you will see dominant in my work. And so every time I paint, it's there's the colors, the vibrancy of the colors and everything always comes across. Even when you're painting people, they also seem very awake and alive and full of energy. Oh yes, <laughs> and that is one of the things that Dominica is known for. The people, you know, they simple but yet energetic. Their uh, life is always so e e easy. They may they do with what they work with what they have, but yet still they always seem to be happy with you know with the little that they have. And um, one of the things, too, that um, the culture in that island is, uh, and also the other Caribbean islands as well, is one of the main things that, you know, and also that is one of the things that drives my work also, even when I came up here, too. So the dances, the spots, music, even the traditional food, is one of the things that, you know, it is very, very important. And as you can see, dominant uh, in, in my work, you know. And even when I come here, I have learned to appreciate it even more and learn to appreciate other cultures as well, to learn it from them and realizing that this country is made up of so many different um, nationalities, the different um, way of life, different tradition, and all that, what makes this country special I've learned to incorporate that into my work too. If you look at uh, my work, with, the, which, with some of them, um, you see folk music, the traditional dancing. And that is, these kind of dances, it's not just a dance, but you have to learn it. And you have to know the moves, you have to learn the moves and the different things and so, and there's stories behind this, these, these dances and this music and what, you know, there's festivities, you know, and that's what really, uh, very, it's very much part of my work. Okay, when I came here, yeah, I came to the U.S., you know, I live in Brooklyn, and I have one of the paintings that the first apartment I was living in, it's called Brooklyn, I just named it Brooklyn. 
And so that <laughs> I just cannot help but to make sure I pay. I got it. I got it on. Oh, it's a water caller. And again, I moved from New York. Then I live in Miami, and I learned from the culture down there. Also, I spent about seven, um, eight years down there. Then I come back to New York, and then moved to New Jersey in, in um, this area in in um, Sayreville, Berlin. And so. I was able to establish myself here, you know, um, exhibit in the local areas, you know, and continue to show my work on the website. And if you go on that website, it will direct you to where you could purchase the prints. Now, the originals, you would have to call me also to, uh, you know, about that. But with the prints, you can go to glenfordjohn.com, and that's all you need. My, my goal really is to continue to... Um, do this work, you know, and to move into other direction as far as I see fit, you know, because when you, as you grow and as you evolve in things always change, you know, and I just want to simplify it and move into other, uh, you know, things. But for now, the images in my head are just um, really, really um, in back, and I would say just continue to do the nature and culture, which really uh, that's where I'm at now, you know. This is Barbara Reese reporting for This Week in East Brunswick. We hope you've enjoyed our discussion with New Jersey artist Glenford John. His work will be on display here at the East Brunswick Library through the end of July. We look forward to seeing you here soon.